Oh, I think this is it. Oh boy. Hey guys, welcome back to the lake house. Been a while, I know, sorry about that. Just got really busy, it was hard to make it happen, but we're back, we're doing some work. I would show you guys inside, but that's not ready yet. It's close, not quite ready yet. So we'll do a reveal here soon. We stopped a while back, a number of months ago. Things got crazy, sickness, a lot of stress, all kinds of stuff. It was just getting too hard to film and do this at the same time. We were under a lot of pressure to get it done, and we still are, because guess what? It's not done yet. The inside is not ready. So we're actually not gonna go in there yet. I know, you're probably a little upset, but I guarantee you it's gonna be worth it when I do get in there and reveal to you guys all the amazing changes we've made. It's, it's a totally different home in there. The outside looks the same so far, except for two egress windows put in right over there. That was a chore but they're in. Two more bedrooms officially to that place and it's safe. But what we're gonna be doing instead is outside stuff because as you can see, well, it's warm. It's now June, it is time to start the outside. So here's what I'm saying. We are gonna do outside stuff. You guys are gonna watch us do it, be a part of this. My brother, my dad are coming up. We're bringing a skid steer with a hydraulic winch on it. We're gonna rip a boathouse out. We're gonna rip a dock out. I'm gonna rip a deck off. We're gonna build a new deck. It's gonna be great. I got a guy coming to do dirt work. I've got a dock builder coming in to build a dock. We got a septic system gonna be put in. There's a lot happening. It's crazy. So come along for the ride, guys. Enjoy. I hope this is a little different experience than the typical farming videos that we have, but you guys have wanted it and it's time I provide it. This deck, let's get rid of it. I'm ready, let's bust it down. Now I'm sure many of you wanna know, why am I getting rid of this deck? Well, I'll show you a couple reasons why. First is this right here. Yeah, that's not good. One big person leaning against that or a couple people or even a kid or two and that's gonna snap off. Yeah, not good, liability, bad, I'm not doing it. So I'm doing iron railing. And if you remember correctly, I fabricated railing for that entire deck and it's right here and it looks really nice have not installed it because the original plan was to keep that deck and just put new railing on and then after looking at it more and more we decided that this deck right here needs replaced it's been kind of fixed up and patched over the years you can see there's been some joists that have been plated with some other two by eights some new four by fours put up here along these posts overall it's not good and i want it gone and i want pressure treated lumber up here i want composite decking and we decided it's in our budget we got to do it which means this has got to come down so that's got to come down first to put the railing on now, even more, check this out. So this deck section right here, we're getting rid of it. I'm gonna stop this deck on this side of the house because it's narrow. No one goes to that side of the house. It's kind of on my neighbor's side of the property. So it's kind of a privacy thing there too. Instead, rather than having one long narrow deck, like what's right above me, it's about six feet wide. I am going to expand right here out. So this deck is now gonna come out here, probably about another 15 feet, 20 feet. And then it's gonna turn and go in here and then I'm gonna have a staircase drop down along the side of the garage, which is then gonna give us access to the deck. That way there'll be no more running inside the house, down here and up the stairs to get upstairs or all the way around the garage to get up there. You'll have one quick access from lakeside up to the kitchen and the deck and the dining room, which is all up here. All this down here is another story. So what's gonna happen in this video is I'm gonna be probably ripping into this deck, tearing stuff off as fast as I can, while the guys, when they show up here in just a few minutes, they're not far away, are gonna start going down. Yes, my amazing, solely safe, OSHA approved staircase here. That's getting fixed too, don't worry. That's that's in the plans and a nice path that's gonna be made all the way down. It's It's been envisioned for a while, guys. We had this all thought out when we bought this place that we were gonna do all this. So it's just finally happening. We cannot be more excited because we're up against the clock. We would have had this place rented this month. It would have been done, but it wasn't. So. We got renters next month, we gotta get it done. This boathouse down here, it's actually pretty big. Doesn't look that big on the camera, but it's pretty big. It's underwater, at least part of it. It's unsalvageable. The amount of money it would cost to try to make that work is have concrete piers go down. There's only one guy in this valley that does it. Long story short, too much money, not worth it. Not really something practical that I want. Even though it's grandfathered to this lake and if it's gone, it's gone. And it's the only one on the entire lake. It's not worth my time or money to fix that up. So we're gonna rip that thing up. Sound good? Am I getting you guys? All right, this path. Getting a complete facelift. I got a guy coming here real soon, maybe even this week. He's gonna completely redo this path. It's gonna be gravel with nice pea gravel, leveled, smooth, switch back going down there, steps. Right here, same thing, gonna be a nice path that takes you up to the backyard. 
it's gonna be great. So let's go get some stuff done. This is the first time being here uh, when it's been warm and I've already seen a couple boats running around in the water and it's just, it's getting me excited. This has been a long road. I'll tell you what guys, this has been quite a burden and we chose to do it. A lot going on in our lives. This has been one of them. So when we get this done, it's gonna free up a lot of our lives. So let's get to work. Finally got some equipment here to work. Part of the plan is we're gonna take out part of this bank here, like I'm doing right now, and gonna make this into a little patio area here. But I need room to turn this skid steer around and it's tight. So I'm just taking out part of this bank, just kind of scraping out along, there's a couple stumps, I'm gonna try to see if I can work out. If I can get them out, then we can have the room we need to start winching that boathouse up here. And this guy, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna make it back up. I regret my decision. If this is a Can-Am, I wouldn't have a problem, but I definitely regret. <laughs> like, why? I mean, we're gonna have to push up with the skid steer. I don't think he's. It's not going back up. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I was gonna say, there's a, there's a drop off right there. I got it. I was gonna try to level that out too. Sometimes you just gotta get really aggressive and I don't like to do that to machinery, neither does he, but it just takes force to get some of these old uh, massive tree stumps out of the ground. But he's gonna go ahead and scoop those up in the bucket and push them all the way to the top of the hill so that that way they're out of the bottom here because we don't need them down here. They gotta be carried up anyways. And once he gets that one up there, then I'll come back down here, grab the other one, bring it back up, keep digging out a little ledge here so that way we can turn the skits around and make a nice wonderful ledge to pull that wonderful beautiful old actually it's not that beautiful so we can pull that thing up here yeah we're making progress all right we're gonna take the winch i'm gonna pull that cable with my handy dandy gloves down the hill and we're gonna hook onto it and leg arms is gonna do his magic and the skits here can't pull it he's just gonna grab it and pull it himself but that's the last resort that's just if everything else fails We'll try everything else first, like diesel and horsepower. All right, let's winch this thing down. Well, we're bringing tools down. Leg arms are clearing a path. We got the winch attached to the skid steer. That's a 10,000 pound skid steer. I know this boathouse is weighs a lot and it's in the ground. There's no way we're pulling the whole thing up in one shot. But my hope is we can take sections out, pieces. We'll break off chunks, hook it to the winch, drag it up the hill, get it up and out of here. Oh, let's hope this plan works, you know? You just don't know until you try. I'm having second thoughts. That canoe fits nicely in here. Now let's break a wall down. We're just kind of thinking, take the cable, put it around some of these studs, give it a pull and see what happens. I don't know, it's probably gonna drag the skid steer this way and if that's the case, we'll start cutting in here and kind of loosen stuff up and until eventually we get a chunk that goes uphill. Yes, we're professionals. Yes, we know what we're doing. Don't ask that again, please. Hey, uh, uh, Nick, um, are you a professional? Yeah. I asked again. He's not doing anything about it. So you guys should ask again too. I cleaned the shop this morning. What else should I say? Somehow I feel like he's not speaking truth. And that's what they call lying. No, we're on YouTube. You can't lie on YouTube. Everything on YouTube is true. Oh, that's true actually. Like yeah, he's right about that. You ready when you are. Oh yeah, I need that stump gone anyways. I don't think anything's gonna be left of it by the time it gets up there. So far, so good. You guys wanna know where that winch came from? That is the official Bob's Big Bud Bin Boom Boomer winch. We took it off, uh, that's what we put on the little bud to lift green bins with. So yeah, it's strong enough to pull this thing down. It's just, it's hooked to a skid steer. It's not as heavy as a big bud. It needs to weigh about five times that. But this thing is leaning. 
And uh, that wall was definitely a lateral structure support. So uh, we might just throw it on another wall and give it a pull and let it collapse and just kind of keep going on it. Or do something really technical like wrap it around a bunch of crisscross and then fold it together as it goes in one piece. Nah, that's too much work. Well, yeah, I can throw it to that window and I'll just toss it around the corner. Yeah, that hook needs to be a little tighter. All right, round three. We forgot we got the winch in high range, so it's not nearly the torque. So he's gonna switch to low range and then it'll go real slow, but it'll pull a lot harder. All right, let's clean up some stuff. I'm not getting down on that for a little while. So we figure out where to put the chain next because that thing is about ready to go. Where to hook on next? Okay. Hi, right, round four. Let's go. Ready? Oh, you think I could go all the way out with the canoe and come back inside and hook it around one whole wing? We well, do have a chain over there. Oh, I think this is it. It's giving a fight. It's giving a fight. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh boy. He's uh, backing up and then winching it forward as he drives forward, then he backs up. There we go. That's a done deal. I think it looks good just like that. Dock and fish off it. Nice place the kids jump off. I'm sure the county zoning would love that. Site planning and all that. Yeah, it's all good. I'm hoping that we can just get that chain or that cable and put it around this whole wall here. It'd be nice if it was flipped the other way. If it was flipped the other way, then it would slide up better. But if I can get it around that, maybe, and drag that up as one piece, that would be awesome. I might have to go swimming and get the cable around another part and pull on it. But that old cedar shake roof, there's some weight to that. That's gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be a little bit of chore getting all this garbage out of here. It once wasn't garbage. There was a day where it was, uh, it was probably a really nice looking boathouse. One of the first, I think, dock boathouses on this whole lake. This is one of the first places that was uh, was built. Beautiful lake. After bringing in a engineering crew and addressing the structure of this old boathouse, they had determined that it's safe for me to walk on this old cedar shake. And absolutely nothing could go wrong. So I'm perfectly fine because they said so. I don't know what we're gonna do as far as hooking onto this thing. We're just gonna have to just keep putting the cable around. Like I said, we'll get that out of here, but uh, I might punch a hole through the roof here and run the cable through and if we can just break it up into chunks then we can deal with it the view already is much better without this boathouse here right in the middle of my waterfront line be nice boathouse surfing Making rubble. All right. Well, if this pump house wasn't right here. I uh, he probably could have taken that piece up right along there, but uh, I'll just keep weaving that cable around. Let's we'll see what happens. I really should just like intertwine it in and out all the way through, but we don't have a lot of cable, so I can't do that. So we've got mother out in the canoe and she's picking up all the stragglers because uh, we're getting floaters and they're kind of taking off out the lake and I don't want to be responsible for someone's $150,000 wake setter getting hanged up by a nice little two by four floating out there. So she's taking care of that. Thanks mom. The wives, on the other hand, are taking care of the kids. Thank you wives. Well, I've been dreading this moment, but I knew it was coming and that's my property. So I guess I got to take responsibility for it, but I'm going swimming. 
and icy cold water because the only way we're gonna get to put the cable around those last pieces is someone's got to go in the water so that's me that's okay i'll take care of it you never know maybe it'll man me up a little bit seems like these days you know i just need a little bit of cold water to make me realize how much i enjoy warm summers let's go wade quick updates <laughs> boathouse is gone well there's a chunk of it right there we broke up the big pieces got them out of here that's like all the scraps that sort of came off as we were towing it out, but all the boathouse is out of the water now. So I didn't want that so nothing floated away during the night. So tomorrow we'll come and we'll hand pick all this stuff out, take it up. Right now we're ripping out the old dock, which is basically just two tree trunks with huge chunks of lumber screwed into the top. And then there was a diving board on the end, which is underwater. And we've been ripping the metal cages which were in the water they're full of rocks that's what he used to hold this thing together is just these metal cages stuffed with rocks and put the boathouse on top yank those out all the rocks dumped that's fine we'll hand toss them all along the shoreline so he's coming back down i'm gonna get the cable hook on this and pull that up too and i'm uh, acclimatized to the water now it feels great actually it's gonna be nicer though in about a month If it takes that post out, I'm okay with it. There we go. Yeah, get rid of it. Knock it down. Oh. Well, yesterday, some things changed on the lakefront. As you can see, it's all gone. Dock too. There's some leftover rubble in the water I gotta clean up. The dilemma is that pump house is built out of cinder blocks and a bunch of other stuff. Well, frankly, we're getting tired of climbing this hill. So we're gonna use the winch and the bucket with some chains and turn that into like a, a dredge. Basically, we're gonna slide the bucket down there, load it full of heavy stuff, and then winch it back up. Let's go. Yeah, filming this is such a drag. We could have carried those logs up, but they've been sitting in the water for 40 years and uh, they're heavy, they're waterlogged. Plus it's a good test to see if this works because that's gonna start carrying cinder blocks off. Yeah, specify when you say we to keep it to two. Yeah, that's true. Two. There's only really two men working here. There's a uh, something else. Let's try the pump house. I just put a hole in the roof, wrap the cable around it, let's pull. So since this was a pump house, previous owner insulated it by having really thick walls full of wood clippings and sawdust. And it must have worked for a while, because I think they got this for most of their water use for a number of years, but uh, these cinder blocks would be okay. We can save those from being broke. So we'll pile that in that bucket and haul it up. But there's another roof underneath this one that I got to rip off once he's done hauling it. So it's gonna look good to see this gone. I can't wait. Hello, boathouse and dock and about 90% of the pump house. All up on my other property. That was a chore. It took two days, two days to rip that thing out. Even have this pristine diving board here. If anybody's interested, make a good deal. Something you can't regret. Maybe none of them guys in Minnesota with them 10,000 lakes would like this. They can get a hold of me later. But anyways, there it is. But that's gotta go because this area here is gonna be a new septic field for that house in a couple weeks. So I gotta get a truck and we gotta load all that up and take it to the local dump and get rid of that stuff. That's happening. But here's where we're sitting as far as the deck. Let's go. We have only today and a little bit of tomorrow to work up here. It's getting to be late. I don't know when the next time we're gonna be up here. We need this place ready to go in like three weeks. We spent a lot of yesterday really looking at that deck Really trying to decide, what do we want? Do we want to mix old with new? Do we want to salvage some of it and build new against it and try to somehow fit a staircase in there and a bunch of different things and get the railing? I don't want to do that. I want new. I don't want to mix old with new. The old's going to rot. It's going to be replaced. I don't want to spend the future trying to replace old lumber with new lumber. I want to start fresh with pressure treated lumber, composite decking, iron railing, things that you just don't ever touch. 
like literally ever again, probably in my lifetime. We'll see how long it lasts. So we made the call this morning. We're not gonna rebuild the deck. It's strong right now. It's not unsafe. We've had a lot of people on it. It's, it's secure, it's solid. It's just ugly and the railing needs replaced. So what we're gonna do this year to get through this 2020, we're gonna take the old railing off and we're gonna clean up the old deck. We're not gonna put the new decking on. We're gonna keep this stuff on hand, on site, ready to go in this fall. We'll come in when we got time, once the farming season's ended and we're gonna design and build a beautiful deck out of all this lumber and more. That's gonna be exactly what we want. It's not gonna be rushed. It's gonna be built well and it's gonna stand the test of time. And I am gonna sleep well at night knowing that it's on. Let's go join dad, leg arms. They're starting the process of disassembling part of the deck because I'm gonna remove some of it. And then in the future, I'll add on the rest later. So we'll take apart what we can, put my new railing on that I have built and hopefully make a pretty sweet setup. So let's go. All this section over here is gonna go. This deck is just kind of, it's, it's sort of encroaching on the neighbor's property as far as it's kind of on his private. And who's gonna want to spend all the time on the end of the deck? So we're gonna make a big area on this end of the deck and that reduces the cost for me too to have to work about that deck. So right here somewhere, we're gonna cut this deck off, starting with this really stable railing. We'll knock the railing off. All this is gonna go. That'll give us a better idea of how we're gonna rebuild this thing in the future. And then we'll put the new railing on that I built. It's not gonna fit 100% because, well, plans have changed a little bit. We'll put on as much as I can. I'll have to go home and modify, fabricate a little bit different in the railing. But I think we're ready to start kicking this railing off. So let's do it. All right, railing's off. So I'm gonna to go through, it's gonna be fun. Uh, Lord of these are the star bits, so it'll be easier, but I'm gonna start unscrewing this entire deck and take it off plank by plank because that's probably the easiest way to disassemble this thing. I'm gonna have screws everywhere. All right, let's just start ripping it off plank by plank. Let's go. All right, well, it's, uh, it's a process, but it's coming off. Uh, talked to the neighbor who actually rebuilt this deck at one time, tried to save it. Said at one time this deck was literally like breaking off from the house and was hanging. It was just about ready to fall off. Patched it as much as he could to salvage it. And he did a good job, honestly, but it's like at some point you have to just get rid of it. And so it lasts a number of years, but we're just finishing taking off a lot of this two by eights that they play to the side of the house. We'll clean that up. Get a better drip edge on there. I'm working on the old oil burner tank. This is for the old furnace that's in there that we're not gonna use anymore. We'll get rid of this tank. I'll save and use it as a gasoline storage, but this whole thing that they put on here is obviously ready to go. So I'm gonna knock all that down. And then when that's all cleaned up, this is out, we'll be we're basically in the area where we're gonna start the deck at, the actual deck. And then we'll finish taking the railing off and then kind of figure out how are we gonna mount the new railing on there. Simple, isn't it, right? Look at that. I made that railing and you guys watched me make it, but I messed up a lot and it's not lining up. It's not fitting together like I planned. We need a welder because we got to modify some of these. I made some too long. I just didn't quite measure everything 100%. We don't have a welder. No one has a welder in the area. All the rental stores, that were all, the welders are rented out. They won't be returned till Monday. It's Friday. We don't want to go home with these stuff, work on it, and bring it back. We want it done this trip. I'm going to go buy a welder at Harbor Freight. Yes, it's a gasless welder. It works on 110. It probably doesn't penetrate very well, but it's $130. And to rent a welder locally, the cheapest one they had was $160 for a day. And I keep that here and weld stuff in the future, like those panels, which need modified. So let's go get a welder for 130 bucks. I know, sometimes it's, it's nice having Harbor Freight nearby. Let's go. $130 later. We've got one of the most amazing welders ever known to mankind. This welder's been known to shake even leg arms in his boots. I'm shaking, but I don't have boots on. But he doesn't have boots on, so we're gonna let him use it. Fix some of my problems. All right, let's weld. So my corner piece that I had right here, the corner post, uh, the bolts that I put on it that are supposed to lock into some nuts that are welded underneath this angle iron, 
just didn't fit right. Spacing wasn't right. And there was nothing we could do to fix that without a welder and a grinder. This P panel here is gonna attach to the wall right there. So it'll be a corner post like that, just like these. This stuff's covered in a uh, Rust-Oleum paint. Um, there's definitely some areas where it got scratched on the way up here as well as I just didn't get enough paint on. You can see a little rust, but that's good because I can see actually now where all the spots are. And the look of this, this rebar, it's uh, when you're inside and you're looking out through the window, it's amazing how much more visibility you have through that. It, it almost, you can't even forget there's a railing there. And that's exactly what I wanted. The gaps here are three and a half inch gaps. So that'll meet the code for child safety and not getting kids heads stuck between the wires. So that's good. I'm glad we maintained that. We got to put a piece here, a post there. This corner post slightly needs modified, not too much. But the panel here, I had about three inches too long. And so we got to figure that out. We'll shorten that and weld it. He's just about to remark a bolt that I put on that one right there. Let's see if this thing works. Think it'll hold? I think so. <clears throat> Did you do a tongue test? <clears throat> you put your tongue on it, see if it's a good weld? No, I'm good. I don't advise buying the cheapest welder in, in town, but when it costs 40 more dollars to rent one, and when it costs to buy one of those, and I only need it for about four welds, this is probably the better way. And I get to keep it here at the lake house. So that way, if for some reason, I need to weld a boat frame or something, I've got a welder. So yeah, I'm okay with that, that's fine. Or if we want to just fabricate stuff up here randomly, I don't know why we would, but sometimes we miss you and then we leave the farm. I'm gonna go help this guy out. What are you guys' thoughts on this though? Do I keep it? It'll let you know if there's an earthquake or a big windstorm. You can let me know, leave a comment. Well, a couple touch ups of paint. We made a couple dings here and there, put this in. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. This is what we wanted to do and uh, it's done. I feel confident now that people can be on this deck and be safe. My family can be safe. Kids aren't gonna fall off. I got my guy came today to start the dirt work. So this is gonna be transformed. He's not gonna get it all done this this, this summer, but um, in the next couple weeks, some big things are gonna happen which will really make access from here down there nice. And he's confident he can do it. So I'm excited about that. The dock goes in next week. That is awesome. So I will have a dock. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry there hasn't been more of these uh, lake house videos, but it just gets crazy. Short windows to get stuff done, but we're getting there and there'll be a new one soon. And then uh, I'll take you guys inside probably in the next one. We'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching guys. God bless. And uh, we'll catch you back at the farm, right? Let's go.